The Rimrock Cafe is Whistler's own secret garden. I think it might have been a detriment back in the beginning to be away from the village, but now it's kind of a, almost like a, a cool thing to get out of the village. So it's kind of nice that way. Located somewhere between a time when triple chairs were all the rage on Blackcomb Mountain to the present day's five-star fine dining expectations, the Rimrock Cafe is quintessentially Whistler. Think ski boots paired with a little black dress. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Bob. Welcome to the Rimrock. Thank you very much. Very nice. It's one having. of Whistler's oldest commercial buildings, built in 1967. So from the outside, it looks like what it is is a very old lodge. But when you come up the stairs and you get this wood and the rock and the fireplace, people fall in love. Welcome. How are we this evening? Very good. Thanks. Excellent. The Rimrock Cafe celebrates their 25th anniversary this year. A lot has changed. The 40-seat cafe has evolved into a 100-seat fine dining establishment. But what is most interesting are the things that haven't changed. Things like Johnny O. Perfect. You're very welcome. Johnny O started working here, I think, around 22 years ago. He's got personality, he's got a heart of gold, he loves food too. He can suggest anything to whatever desire that you're feeling that night. Johnny's a, a true Whistler local, he's been here for over 30 years, skis as much as he can and uh, works most nights. Authenticity, it greets guests both in front of house and back. Fruits of the Sea are the star of Whistler's first seafood restaurant, although more game dishes have worked their way onto plates. Some recipes have changed while others remain classic, like the rack of lamb with lobster, even after 25 years. You have to change the menu every once in a while, but you have to keep certain things on because people expect to come back and, you know, have something that's that they remember or there. You know, people are funny when it comes to food. They, uh, they, some people order the same thing every time. Consistency, it's something that can be tasted. Zagat has rated the old time favorite as very good to excellent three years running. 4.5 stars is the common showing on TripAdvisor, but the biggest accolade comes from Whistler locals. For 10 consecutive years, Local Peak News Magazine readers have voted the Rimrock Whistler's best overall restaurant. It has the history behind it, you know, it has that, that strength of consistency. Um, having, having the two owners be here hands-on uh, from, from day one, I think is really uh, what sets this place apart. It's really a winning equation. One that comes with a sweet signature toffee pudding ending. <laughs> Staying true to its roots, there is no ostentatious anniversary bash. However, the linen tablecloth free cafe is participating in Dine in Whistler, a celebration of 30 plus restaurants offering three course menus from $19 to $49 until June 28th. It's a great way of letting locals dine in Whistler at a reasonable price. I think it's really good for everybody because then they get to go out and try different places and try all the different things on the menu. From the outskirts of Whistler Village, where the wild locals are, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV.